So like, here's my truth. I'm gonna talk about it, and after this time, I'm probably not gonna discuss it again. It's so easy to like put on a happy face and smile and fake it for people. It's so easy to act like the world is perfect, to act like your life is perfect, and fake it for people. A lot of times while I'm not here, I battle with my own demons. Like, I don't know from one day to the next if I want to be here or if I don't want to be here. And this has went on my entire life. If you ask me, have I ever tried to harm myself? The answer is yes. Um, it's been a really long time ago. It was the side effects of a medicine that they put me on for clinical depression. Um, we think that's what made me try to harm myself, but thank God that I had a friend that lived next door. My best friend, Aletha, um, basically came over. And she was there for me, and I threw up pretty much well. Like, she came there, like, as soon as it happened, and I threw up the medicine that I had taken. And then um, we immediately went to, like, my physician the next day. Um, we told him about the medicine. My mama had kept saying that the medicine that I was on, she didn't think it was helping me or whatever. And come to find out it was the medicine that I was on that was making my depression worse or whatever and they took me off the medicine and for the most part you know I don't really want to hurt myself but some days are just not good having bipolar 1 disorder is hard and it does affect my consistency on this channel because some days I don't want to get out of the bed. I don't want to move. I don't want to socialize. I don't want to be around people. I don't want to do anything. I did something that I've never done before and it's always been advised that you do. And yesterday I, I told my husband and kids that I need help is this is something that you don't talk to people about because people don't know how to react to this kind of thing they think that when you try to talk to people about this kind of thing they tend to think that you're crazy and you are far from it you're not crazy you just have issues with your feelings basically it's nothing wrong. You're not stupid. You're not crazy. Matter of fact, we are some of the most intelligent people that you are that you will ever meet. That's why a majority of your stars and your entertainers, you find out that they commit suicide because these are some of the most tal talented and in intelligent people, and they're not crazy. I think our coping mechanisms. And how we cope with the things that we go through is through like art, like things like music, acting, drawing. It allows us to escape what we really go through. And I think that's what, what most of your people with mental illnesses are such great musicians, great artists, and great actors. Because it allows us to escape from our own reality and the things that go through our minds. I say all of this to say to check on your strong friends. I, I feel like everything is going great. Everything is going good. And I feel like my depression bottomed back out when I started having issues with severe pain. 
I was fine till my back pain got gets so severe it feels like I can't breathe sometimes. Did not to mention the effect that COVID has left. I'm almost two years out from COVID and still have it just dealing with the issues of trying to breathe is so frustrating like that i cannot get adjusted to not being able to take a deep breath and at this point i'm beginning to feel like the after effects of covid it's like affecting my mental health like I just want to be normal and rewind my life back to a point where I was okay. I just want to be okay again. Not being able to do the things that I did before to escape my moves. Like I put my energy into swimming. Swimming was my scapegoat. Um, just being active was my way out. And then when that was taken from me because somebody rear-ended me, it's like I don't have an escape anymore. So now I'm, I'm kind of stuck with trying to find like a new hobby or a new way to escape the activeness like of my thought process. And it's been really hard. And then on top of that, not only was swimming my hobby, it was my career. And it was taken. I know y'all have heard me say that a lot, but y'all really don't understand the magnitude and on the level when I say that it was taken. Exactly what all that pertains to. It's like really hard trying to find another career because... You have to find something that's just like not stressful. And now it's hard because I have to find something that's not. Because now that I have a, dis a physical disability, a mental disability and a physical disability combined makes you literally unable to do almost anything like before, it was easier to find something physical to do. But now, like, you can't hardly find... It's crazy because finding a different career is almost, like, nearly impossible. Like, all the things that I was interested in before, like, I could do um, transcription. And now, because of my back injury, my, my arm is messed up. I can't go back to that anymore. Anything that I could go back to as a career... It's frustrating. Like, you don't want to just sit home and do, like, literally nothing. So, it's just, like, crazy. I know this probably doesn't make, make sense to y'all, but this is my truth. Like, I, this is something I don't talk to. I don't trust people. I don't really hardly to be under like people because people are, are not trustworthy. They are not kind and they are not nice. So, I don't deal with people. I fool with those that are close to me, and these are literally, like, the only people that I fool with and I talk to and that I deal with. But when y'all sitting here watching people videos, y'all need to stop thinking that people like perfect. When y'all watching stars and watching entertainers, stop thinking that their life is perfect. Like, oh, that's the life I want to live. You don't know what people go through. You don't know what, what's going on in people's life behind closed door. It's easy to put on a smile in the front for people. It's it's easy to just a fake a life for anybody. That's something I'm, I refuse to do here. I'm not going to keep faking it and act like life is just, just so pure and grand. It's not. It's like going forward here on this channel, if you don't want to know real life and accept real life, this is not the place for you because I'm 
and I've said this before, and then I find myself not doing it. If you have an issue with reality, this is not the place for you. People have real emotions in real life. They are angry. They cry. They are happy. And they say the truth. And if you have an issue with it, this is not the place for you because... I find it too much trouble at this point and this point forward to to put on like this false facet. I it's 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 too much. And so I have found it to be an issue with me being consistent on this channel because I just don't record and I don't upload because I feel like I have to keep hiding and I don't want to hide anymore. So going forward, in order for me to be consistent and upload and express how I want to express and be who I want to be, I can't hide things anymore. So if I'm having a bad day, I'm going to have to just say it and things are good. So I may be happy one day. I may be sad and crying one day. And I know a lot of people have issue with people crying. And if that's an issue for you here, then I understand. You do what you have to do. Today is just a bad day. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to do a telehealth appointment with my therapist. Get my chemical levels checked. And everything reevaluated. I do not wish to harm myself or nothing like that. And I know I'm going to be okay. I just got to make it through this bad, this bad spell. I want to send a shout out with my friends and say thank you for y'all sending shows for me to watch. <laughs> well, mostly my kids. <laughs> Giving me a playlist of shows to watch. And texting me every 30 minutes. My son is here till he goes to work. He checks on me every few minutes. My husband calls and texts all day, every few minutes. My mama, both my daughters, that's my support system. My husband, my mama, and both my daughters, they call and text me every few minutes. And make sure I'm okay. And shout out to my best friend, Phone Joes.